In this video, I'm going to teach you the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction in which we are halogenating a benzene ring or some other type of aromatic molecule. We can use either bromine or chlorine to halogenate the benzene ring. The reagents that we use are Br2 with the catalyst FeBr3 or AlBr3, or if we want to chlorinate Cl2 with the catalyst AlCl3. Um, I'm going to draw the mechanism down here. I'm showing only one of the hydrogen atoms on the benzene ring. As you know, there are a total of six, but for this mechanism, we only need to draw one of them. The actual reagent, the actual electrophile that is used in this reaction is a complex that is formed between the bromine molecule and its catalyst or the chlorine molecule and its catalyst. I'm going to be using bromine as my example here. The, the rea reagent is a BrBrFeBr3 complex in which the first bromine that I've drawn here has a positive charge, so that's the electrophile, and then the iron has a negative charge. If we were using um, aluminum, this would be aluminum instead, still with a negative charge, and then if we were using our chlorine reagents, we would just substitute all of these for chlorines as well. And in the first step of the reaction, double bond of the benzene ring goes after the positively charged bromine and it breaks that bromine bromine bond and it leaves us with this intermediate where we have added the bromine to the same carbon that we're showing the hydrogen for although in this particular molecule it really doesn't matter where the bromine goes it's just going to go somewhere and we have created a carbocation we've got a positively charged carbon there in the last video i told you about how this particular intermediate has three resonance structures that delocalize the positive charge around the ring. So I want to draw those resonance structures to show the stabilization of the positive charge here. And we'll squeeze one more in. And if you recall from the last video, these three resonance structures together are referred to as the sigma complex. I really didn't leave myself a lot of room fitting all of that in there. In the last step of this reaction, our base comes in and abstracts the hydrogen atom from the carbon atom that the bromine was placed on. And the base in this reaction is this BrFeBr3 minus ion that was formed in the very first step. So I'm going to rewrite this guy down here, BrFeBr3 with a negative charge. And we're going to show this guy grabbing this hydrogen breaking the carbon-hydrogen bonds, putting those bonds back into the ring and returning aromaticity. Now normally when we're doing these, when we're drawing these um, halogenation reactions, normally in this step right here, we simplify by just writing the Br plus ion or the Cl plus ion, just using that reagent. And then over here in this last step, again, simplify. Normally we just write base instead of writing this whole complex out. And here's the product of this halogenation reaction.